um, basically, they're, they're ultimately in an SB2 town, the, the voters, the taxpayers, whatever, um, ultimately control spending, okay? And when it comes to wage increases, they can basically take two forms. One is raises can be put in a budget, and then the voters have an opportunity to approve those budgets, and if the budgets are approved, you know, the raises go through. If, if, the, if, if the budgets are not approved, the raises don't go through, and that's pretty much what hap has happened with our non-union people over um, recent years. The other aspect um, to it is, is a collective bargaining agreement, okay, which tend to be multi-year. The ones that were just approved were two years going back to <coughs> 2003. There were three-year contracts and so on. Um, but the voters, the point is, is that the voters are approving those multi-year contracts. When the library enters into a contract that has a multi-year commitment where you're including it in the default budget, you're, you're, I'm not saying that it's illegal, I'm not an attorney or whatever, okay. but from, an, from, from a philosophical standpoint, you're, you're circumventing the, the voters' um, opportunity to approve or not approve you know, those expenses. And to be honest with you, we've got a little bit going on of that going on this year with some of the stuff that, that we've done with non-union employees. Um, but just so you know, it, it, it's, it's going to be my approach that, that, that I'm not going to support putting those increases. We're very small in, in percentage of our bu budget into the default budget, so at least the voters have that opportunity. So I, I don't know how you can, Fred, maybe you can comment on that, how you can approve multi-year contracts and take the voter out of the loop completely. Actually, they have con contractual control over that as a library trustee. So they, they have they have contractual control because they're outside the control of the town. Well, I'm not saying the select and control it. That's that's not yeah. my point. My point is taking the legislative body out of the loop. Well, we're not gonna <coughs> we're not gonna solve this here. And I didn't warn Mark of that, so I won't put him on the spot, you know, to express an opinion. But I, I'm just making the point, and and maybe it's only a point for going forward that I think that the voter really needs to to you know be in the loop on 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 increases in spending that's my mr. point mr thank you mr chairman thank you librarians um, great presentation great data your people through the door up 5% your items checked out up 4.5% your database uh, queries up 30% your program attendance up 40% great energy use savings um, all with a 2.01 budget increase. Good work, and thank you for a wonderful facility. Thank you. Thank you. You made a lot of good <coughs> points tonight, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you for coming in.